Do, 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 do. I eat game. Yeah. Hey, Shinobis. Mark here, and we are working on the folding screen monkeys. And this one has very little combat in it. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it pretty quickly um, with minimal combat. Okay, um, so let's get started here. So we're gonna find and kill four of those kimono-wearing monkeys. There's the invisible monkey, the green, the purple, the orange. They all have their unique little thing that we need to do to get them. I'm gonna show you how to do that as quickly as possible. We're gonna be issued something called the elusive hall bell. It is a quick item. Um, and that bell basically, when you ring it, when you use it, it resets the monkey's positions which is pretty helpful for what we're gonna be doing. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna head over there and use it. And um, don't forget to go ahead and get the bell and put it in your quick item so that we can just press up on the D-pad and use it when we need to. All right, so when we get started, there's an orange monkey up there. We're just gonna forget that guy. We're gonna go all the way down here and to the left. Uh, there's a monk, someone you could talk to. We're gonna ignore that too. Um, if you want, you can come talk to him. He does have, if you wanna find out about the monkeys and a little bit about the lore, if you explore uh, the discussion with him, you can learn some stuff there. But we're gonna, just gonna kinda ignore that stuff for now. So when we turn left down there, we're gonna head past this waterfall and then we're gonna turn right and running through this water is actually going to help us reveal the invisible invisible monkey first. So let's go ahead and run up here. I like to start stop stop at about that point right there and then do a 180 and you see those little footprints right there? That's the invisible monkey. He's following us. So we're going to turn around and just kind of whack a couple times and you should hit him. There he is. All right. So we're done with the invisible monkey. Next up um, we're gonna go ahead and turn around and go down that hallway. We're gonna take care of the purple monkey now. So let's go down this walkway. And at the end of this big old room, right there is a big door. We're gonna open up that huge door first. So let's go ahead and go down there and hit the X or the square button and open it up. And then we're gonna get up, we're actually gonna go up onto the roof after this. Um, we're gonna do an about face. You're gonna look up and there's a middle grapple point right there. We're gonna go through that little area through the roof. Let's go ahead and grapple up there. And then when we get to the top, we're actually gonna stealth this section. We're gonna go down and up towards the back. You can see our little friend right there. Um, I managed to stealth him once, but normally I aggro some of the monkeys up here. I don't know, I must've gotten super lucky, but anyway, we're gonna take out these guys. And looks like it's not gonna work, yeah. So, and then we're gonna take out the purple monkey right there. And now that he's done, uh, fair warning, you're gonna have to fight a couple other monkeys, but they're pretty easy to kill. They're not too bad. Once you suck up all the goodies, let's go ahead and use our bell. And we are gonna reset all the monkeys. We're gonna go back to the beginning again. And uh, if the orange monkey's not up there, if he's missing, then we're gonna use the elusive bell again and reset. And there he is. So quickly, we're gonna quickly run right behind these folding screens. But the problem is, you can see him, he's looking at us, he's dancing around. Um, and so you can try it, you can try and go get him. We're gonna grapple right there, but he's gonna bolt. So if he bolts, you're just gonna, don't chase him, it's not worth it. Just use the bell, reset. Okay, this is good. So if you, if he has that little searching triangle indicator above his head, that means that means he is he sees us, or he thinks he sees us. So we're gonna quickly go up there, we're gonna grapple up to that same point, and we are going to get the drop on him. There it is, he's red. He sees us, but it's too late. We got him. Be sure you, tar you target him while you're grappling. And go ahead and we're gonna take him out. There we go. Okay, and once we take out the orange monkey, uh, we have one more monkey left, and it's the green monkey. So once you use that bell, we're gonna start over, reset, we're gonna grapple up there, and we're gonna kinda go around the back of this house. We're gonna we're gonna scoot our way on the outskirts a little bit to get to this guy, because we don't want to uh, we don't want to frighten him. Because once once you frighten him, then he's a pain. 
So go ahead and grapple to this point. Now remember, there are monkeys up here on this roof. So we're going to go on the outskirts of this house. And then at the tail end of the house, this is where we're gonna go up. So don't, so we're gonna jump right here and then we're gonna climb down right there. You could also probably just do the jump. It's just that I, I keep aggroing those monkeys. So try to stealth it and then climb down and be sure you hit the X button. Don't hit the, I mean, hit the B button, not the X button. Then be sure you crouch. We're gonna work our way through this room and there's a bell on the left hand side the monkey's actually down there on the right hand side he's on top of that tree so we're gonna work our way over to this bell and we're gonna pull that right there and that's going to we're gonna gong the bell and you can see he's like right down there so i just want to give you guys a good perspective of where we're gonna head after we ring it so there we go ring the bell and then once we do that We're going to head over to the tree, and he should be right down there. So use that grapple point right there. Let's go ahead and do it. And we take care of him. There he is. Don't forget to like and sub subscribe, folks. That does help me out quite a bit. Um, thanks for checking out my video.